don't see anybody in here. Wow, look at all the people. I know so many people. If you like, you can you can turn your video on. That way we can see you. But we will stay muted. So nice to see you all this evening. Although we wish we could all be together at the library, seeing you on Zoom is certainly the next best thing. And we thank you for being here tonight. Good evening, my name is Julie Muckamal. And as co-host of the Friends of the Sterling Road Library, I'd like to welcome you to our annual meeting. Our agenda tonight will include a slideshow created by our board member, Joyce Abraham, greetings from our honorary guests, and the installation of the officers and board members of the Friends Group. We will then enjoy a lecture by Marjorie Marcus on Books in America, The Band and the Burned after our meeting is adjourned. I'd like to now call upon my co-president, Hannah Hostick, who will say a few words and introduce our slideshow presentation. Thank you, Julie. What a year this has been. From our annual meeting last September until this week, our friends group has offered over 288 incredible programs. And to our amazement and joy, our membership has remained steady at 403 current members with 42% of them at the Sterling Circle benefactor level. No other friends group has seen new members during this past year. And yet we continue to grow on the basis of our outstanding programs, our community's commitment to our public library and our recruitment efforts. Thank you, Marilyn London and her committee, Linda Bloomfield, Esther Dichter and Jane Surratt. Last year, we learned that without the constraints of a limited space and with no limit to the physical location of our presenters, we could, <clears throat> we could offer top quality programs and draw attendees in numbers and from places previously unimagined. Indeed, many of you are joining us tonight from your homes all over Florida, the United States and even abroad. We know that we have been presented with a challenge and an opportunity. How can we most effectively serve our community during the time of the pandemic? For the immediate future, our answer is to create innovative, exciting, and successful programs. We are so proud of our outstanding lecturers and facilitators, our strong partnerships with other community organizations, and our new initiatives. We have two important goals for the coming year. First, we are working hard to ensure that our Sunday and evening hours will be restored because we know that's what our community needs and wants. Second, we will continue to try to fulfill our promise of over a year ago to Hollywood Hills High School to provide Wi-Fi hotspots to the students without Wi-Fi in their homes so that they can take out these hotspots from the library for the school year. Without access to Wi-Fi, these students are at such a disadvantage. And we ask that our county commissioners and Broward County library administrators help us on those two concrete goals. Our board of 10 members has the passion and commitment to do all that we can to address the needs of our library. We hope that you, our members, our stakeholders, will help understand the critical role a library plays with, uh, within a community and will continue to contribute your ideas and your financial support. And we need your patience. Dr. Fauci stated this week that none of us are in a position to make plans for Christmas. So it's unclear when we can plan to return to our in-person events. Although we are all so tired of Zoom, we also see how connections can be formed and nurtured within our virtual Sterling Road Library community. This is still a whole new world for us and we have no roadmap, but we're doing our best with you as our co-travelers. Most importantly, please know how much we miss you and how grateful we are to all of you who have continued to support our mission. The pandemic has high highlighted the ties that bind us. And although it breaks our hearts not to see you in person and to exchange ideas and hugs the way we used to, 
we will prevail with an even deeper commitment to our library and to each other. With all of us working together, we are redefining what it means to be part of a community that values its local library. And with all of your support, we have emerged stronger and even more committed than before. And now, Joyce Abraham will present a short overview of some of the events of the past year. Joyce? Thank you, Hannah, for your words. And thank you, Joyce, for this wonderful slide presentation. It's so wonderful to see so many programs that were done throughout the year, 288 programs approximately that our members um, provided with their donations to, to our group and to our community. And I'm realizing that the Friends Board has put together so many incredible programs. So thank you to our board. And I know these programs have helped people to be more resilient during these COVID times. I'd like to thank our honorary board members, as well as the director of Broward County Libraries Division and introduce each one to say a few words. We'll start with House of Representatives, Evan Jenny. If you could unmute yourself, please. Absolutely, and, and thank you so much for having me. Um, and really, more than anything, I just want to thank everybody here for all the work you've done for the community. Um, the longer I've been going up to Tallahassee, the more I realize that the, the, the significant amount of difference that can be made when you're at home. So I, I just want to thank each and every person um, and, and know how important this is. I, I see some of the other elected officials that are on the line, and you can see very clearly that your city, your county, and your state care about this. And uh, whatever we can do at our respective levels, I know we'll continue to do that. And once again, thank you so much for having us. Um, and uh, I appreciate it. And thank you for letting me be a part of this community. Thank you, Evan, Jenny. We appreciate you being here tonight. And next, I'd like to call upon our county commissioner, Bean Fur. 
Hey, can you hear me okay? Yes. Oh, great. Hey, it's great to see you guys. Thanks for the invite. And uh, I miss you guys. I miss not being able to see everybody over there. We miss um, you too. I know, I know. Um, what, a, what an incredible list of things you guys did this year. I knew about some of them, but nowhere near all the stuff you had done. That's, that's uh, for people that, you know, who were hesitant about getting out, I'm sure that was like quite a safe harbor for a lot of people to be able to go to. I know the libraries in general uh, had, a, had a lot of circulation in those things. And Sterling Friends has just been a jewel among all, the, all of our libraries. I, I tell every, every, I go to different libraries in different cities and I brag on you guys all the time because you guys know how to do it. Um, with regard to the uh, issue you were talking about with Hollywood Hills and the county, I'm ha uh, happy to help wherever I can. Uh, send me an email, I'd love to do it. Uh, but I, I just wanna say, thank you guys for doing what you're doing. You guys are the best by far. And uh, you kind of show everybody else how, how a group can pull together a community and, and keep it alive and bring wonderful things to their life. So uh, thank you so much for doing what you're doing, okay? Bye. Thank, thank you, Beam, for, for being here tonight and thank you for your support. Anytime. And now I'm gonna call on Eugene Bold, who will be representing the Office of County Commissioner, Tim Ryan. Well, hello and good evening, everyone. Um, I wanted to start by um, by saying that the commissioner regrets uh, not being able to join this wonderful group due to a conflict in his schedule. But he did ask me to relay, similarly to what Commissioner Fur um, has said, to relay his uh, incredible gratitude for all the wonderful things that you and your group have been able to accomplish. Um, and to express our uh, willingness to help in whichever way we can uh, to further advance uh, the interests of the group. So uh, our door is open. Um, I'll be uh, happy to place my email in the chat. So that way, um, if there's any member, so I don't take any additional time, but if there's any question, concern, anything we can further do to assist or help, um, we'll be happy to do so. So I'll go ahead and uh, post my contact information. Thank you, Eugene, and thank you for representing Tim Ryan. And now Mayor Josh Levy. Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, it really is nice to see everybody. And, and that slideshow, as Commissioner Fur mentioned, uh, was, was so impressive with uh, all that you've been doing. And I, I looked up some quotes about libraries. And of course, we, we learned about libraries, of course, that of course, uh, build uh, collections of books. That's, that's one level. And then uh, they say good libraries build services and that great libraries build communities. Uh, and as I had, you know, the, the slideshow running, you know, in front of me, I said to myself, wow, look at look at the community that you all are building. I mean, whether it's an event with chefs or musicians or the children's events, the book drives, um, the, the historical society connections, art and culture center, you're really um, really creating community with what you're doing. You know, it doesn't just end at, 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 at collecting books uh, for this uh, Sterling Friends organization. And so really uh, as the mayor of, of the city of Hollywood, I am certainly in, in, uh, indebted and appreciate uh, the work that you do to help build uh, our community of Hollywood uh, with 400 plus members. Uh, you all are, are certainly succeeding in, 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 in attracting people and in having them connect to the fabric that you're helping us weave here as we create uh, a better community uh, and one that's you know bound together um, with, with with all that you all have have introduced into the fabric of, of the community through these different programs and so I applaud you and 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 look forward to seeing what else you'll do uh, especially once we'll be back in person looking forward to those uh, book drives and reading in front of the kids even though uh, they, they might uh, uh, laugh a lot at some of these uh, 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 um, uh, humorous books that we might read for them uh, so looking forward to it all and really appreciate uh, all of you for what you've done this year and, and what you'll do in the year ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mayor Levy. We appreciate you being here. And now Commissioner Adam Gruber. Hi, everybody. Um, you know, I just want to echo the sentiments of uh, the other elected officials. I'm just honored to be speaking amongst the same these same people. Um, and I am super proud to have this library down the street from my house in my district. Um, you know, thank you so much, uh, Hannah and Julie, uh, for putting this all together. And really, uh, again, the, the amount of, of, 
amazing things you guys have accomplished through COVID. Um, I was surprised to see a lot of it. Um, you know, I know it's on your website. I know we're still doing limited programs for kids, for toddlers, and that's just amazing. So, you know, kudos to you guys. Uh, I, you know, I'm so proud to be here. I know uh, Commissioner Blattner was a big supporter and a big advocate. And, uh, you know, I, I'm here to do the same thing. I'm here for you guys, whatever I can do to advocate for the library. I'm happy to. Um, and just thank you so much. Thank you, Adam Gruber. We appreciate you too. And now the director of Broward County Libraries Division, Allison Gruber. <laughs> Hi, good evening, everybody. Allison Graz here, and I am cool. so happy to be here amongst you. I miss your faces so much. Um, so I cannot wait for us to be able to be in person again. Um, in the interest of time, I know we've got a really tight timeline before the program in a little bit. Um, I am excited to announce that library programs indoor in person for adults began last Friday at our largest locations, including our 30,000 square feet locations. So that gives us a chance to see how it's working, get into the rhythm of things. So at Sterling, it will be uh, open indoor in-person programs, library programs for all ages beginning November 1. So quite excited to be preparing for that, getting everybody back into that groove of welcoming people. We are still going to have safety as our foremost priority. So we will be requiring registration, um, which is really more for us so that we can plan accordingly. If it's a very popular program, that'll tell us we need to have multiple events. Um, we are going to be in line with the county as far as facial covering requirements, social distance requirements. So we are absolutely thrilled to be getting back to that offering and serving of the public and understanding that we have left behind some people uh, with our move to digital only. So serving their needs, meeting their needs, living our mission statement is absolutely an imperative for us. And I am so excited. We've kicked it off. If any of you would like to join me in the director's book club, our current book of the month for October is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. So please check your uh, events calendar for the library, broward.org slash library, if you'd like to see where those book discussions will be happening. And I am, I just want to sign off really quickly with a huge, huge round of applause for the friends of the Sterling Library. Um, they are absolutely phenomenal. Their commitment and dedication to not just the library, but the community and seeing the needs, targeting those conversations, going above and beyond, absolutely phenomenal. And I just don't even want to think about a world in which this incredible collective of strong individuals, passionate individuals would be. So I, uh, where they, if they weren't supporting us. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your everlasting, evergreen commitment to the Sterling Road Library and Broward County Libraries. Thank you so much, Allison. And I need to make a correction. Allison's last name is Grubbs, not Gruber but they're side by side on my computer, so excuse me. <laughs> and I want to thank all of the honorees and Allison, honor, I should say honorary members of the Friends Group and Allison for being here this evening. And thank you for all your hard work on behalf of the community and our Broward County Libraries. Thank you. And now we are going to hear from our Sterling Road branch manager, Nina Fermant. Nina Fernandez, who will give the manager's report. Good evening, everyone. It's so great to be here. <clears throat> My name is Nina Fernandez, and I'm proud to say that I'm the community library manager for the Sterling Road Branch Library. Although I've been in the role since March, everyone has been so wonderful and welcomed me with open arms. As you know, our friends are a dynamic group that passionately advocates for our library. 
During this pandemic, they moved their popular programs online, which allowed them to reach even more library users, which we love. It's an honor to be part of such an amazing team. And aside from our wonderful friends, the staff of the Sterling Road Branch Library impressed me every day. Their teamwork and commitment to providing sensational service to the members of our community is seen on a daily basis. And speaking of staff, I'm happy to share that Adam Saltzman has recently joined our team and members of the community have already stopped me personally to compliment how helpful he is. Although the pandemic isn't over yet, we're happy that we're able to continue helping our customers. As time goes on, we are seeing an increase in the amount of customers walking through our doors, which is fantastic and our whole and purpose for being here. For the members of the community who are just not quite ready to come into doors, we offer the convenience of curbside service. And just a quick phone call to us, we're happy to check out customers' library material to them and bring it to them when they're outside. And aside from bringing out library material, we also have make and takes. Make and takes are crafts that customers can bring home and they include simple step-by-step -step instructions that they can make with their families at home. Looking forward, I'm happy to share we have some exciting projects we're working on, such as providing hotspots, a story walk, which will be a fun and educational interactive activity that will take apart a children's story and it will be showcased along our beautiful sidewalk at Sterling Road Library. And if you haven't been there, please come check it out. It's a gorgeous building. And also, as Allison was saying, we are planning our upcoming in-person programs, taking safety precautions such as social distancing, wearing our masks. We do look forward to offering our in-person programs again. Working at the Sterling Road Branch Library is such a privilege and I couldn't be happier to be here. Thank you so much for your time. And now back to our wonderful friends. Thank you, Nina Fernandez. Appreciate you being here tonight. And now we are going, I am going to present the officers and the board to all of you. The nominating committee has presented its slate for 2021-2022 which you, will all, which you all received in your annual meeting notice. It's now my honor to install the board. You are tasked with promoting and supporting our public library through programming, fundraising, and advocacy. Your commitment to the library as a public space, open to all, is a critical component to the vibrancy of Broward County. We all play a role in ensuring that our library continues to flourish together with the outstanding staff of the Broward County Library and our efforts and energy should continue to create an exciting, create an exciting center where all our residents are welcomed and encouraged to have access to all the resources our library system offers. Officers and board members, please unmute your microphone and when I say your name, please state whether you accept this responsibility. Christine Lorber. I accept this great responsibility. Thank you. Rhonda Martin. Yes, I'm honored to be part of the board. Marilyn London. Yes, and it's a pleasure to work with such fabulous people as our board. It's great, and yes. Rebecca Lemelman. Yes, thank you, Julie. I'm happy to remain on the board. Fern Cantor. It's a pleasure to work with all of you. I accept. Joyce Abraham. I definitely accept, and we're an amazing group. Thank you, Julie. Susan Metch. Thank you, Julie. I accept, and with great pleasure, it's been a joy to work with all the women it's just a wonderful, wonderful group. And Kay Silver. Yes, I accept. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations to all our board members. And it really is a pleasure to know you all and to work with all of you. We are now going to do just a little bit of business, which is to approve the board meeting minutes from August. Is there a motion to accept the minutes as read? from one of our board members. Okay, Marilyn. I'll accept. And I'm, you know, Marilyn, and anybody that will second? I will. I'll second. Okay, Susan, Susan Mitch, and all those in favor of accepting the minutes as read for August. Terrific. The minutes for August have passed.
How about a motion to accept the August treasurer's report? Do I have a motion for to accept those the treasurer's report? Okay, thank you, Fern. Fern Cantor. And second to that motion? I'll second. Okay, Joyce Abraham, thank you. And all those from the board in favor of accepting the treasurer's report for August. Okay, and that passes now too. The board received the proposed budget prior to this meeting. And if anyone would like a copy, just email us at sterlinglibraryfriends at gmail.com and we will send you a copy. You could actually write it in the chat if you'd like and we'll make sure that you get it. I'd like to now make a motion to accept the budget as read. Do I have a motion to accept? Okay, Rebecca Lemelman and anybody from our board would like to second that? Okay, Fern Cantor or Rhonda Martin. Okay, Rhonda Martin and all those in favor of accepting the budget as read. Okay, our 2021-2022 budget has passed as read. The Friends Board would like to thank those members who have volunteered through the year, whether sorting books, organizing the book room, attending outdoor book fairs, sending email reminders, taking over entirely of sending out our members' weekly emails and welcome guests to our programs. Your efforts are so very much appreciated. We thank you all on behalf of the community. And just to let you know, the National Friends of the Libraries Week is from October 17th through the 31st. With that in mind, we will be having an outdoor library book fair on October 28th and October 29th from 3.30 to 5.30. So we hope to see you all there. We thank you so much for attending this year's annual meeting. And in just a moment, our friend secretary, Rhonda Martin, will introduce our guest speaker for the evening, Marjorie Marcus. Our meeting is now adjourned. Take a stretch and our program will begin momentarily. And it's so nice to see you all on Zoom this evening. Thank you. You know, um, Julie, while we're waiting, I thought it might be interesting